what up guys in today's video I'm gonna talk about intermittent fasting or just fasting for short if you're not all educated so I'm gonna talk about what fasting is is it beneficial you know is it the secret to fat loss is it you know the answer to all your problems probably not so let's start now what intermittent fasting is I'm gonna explain it in the simplest manner possible so fasting is basically where you choose a specific hour a specific hour to hour time frame where you eat and the other times out of that eating window you don't eat anything that's basically fasting in the simplest term possible now there's a lot of different variations of fasting that people do the most common one is basically where you fast for 16 hours and you have an 8 hour eating window so that can look like anything right you could choose that eating window any time out of your day so for example if you want to eat at 2 p.m. right so your first meal is 2 p.m. and then you could eat till 10 p.m. after that you stop so you have an eight hour eating window right you try to get all your food in that little eight hour eating window and for the remainder of that for the 16 hours you fast now another technique now you, you can tweak this right there's not much else you know much other techniques it's just variations and a little tweaks right you can tweak the fasting window so it's a little longer right you could fast for 18 hours you could fast for 20 hours you know you could maybe fast 14 hours 12 hours you know depends on what you like and your preferences now there's another special fasting technique what people do and they do 24 hour fast or even 84 hour fast you know for those extreme extreme you know fasting guys <clears throat> now this is basically what it sounds like you don't eat for 24 hours so for example you, your last meal today is at 5 p.m. and you don't eat until 5 p.m. the next day you know that sounds crazy but people also do it so let's talk about the benefits of fasting now there's been a lot of studies on fasting and they all prove that intermittent fasting is beneficial right it's beneficial for your hormones it's even beneficial for your health because the science says it repairs cells in the body it can prevent certain illnesses which is quite amazing and it can even optimize your hormones for fat loss but now that we have to take that with a little caution it's not gonna magically make you lose fat fasting just like any other diet technique is a different road to the same destination and that destination is being in a calorie deficit let me say that again you have to be in a calorie deficit to lose fat period period that's 
you know, you have to be in a deficit or you're not going to lose fat. And fasting is just another method to get you into a calorie deficit. It's not any special diet that's going to get you shredded in a matter of weeks, right? You're going to lose some water weight at the beginning. But it's mostly going to be water weight because you're not eating for long periods of time, you know? And it basically automatically puts you in a calorie deficit because you're not eating for long periods of time. You know, you have to try to eat a lot of food to not be in a deficit with fasting. That's why people do it because it's an easy way to get to a calorie goal and to lose weight. That's why people do it. And also a lot of them do it for the health benefits, which I said earlier in the video. And what, you know, I've experimented with fasting. I did it for a long time. And what I found was that during my fasting period, I basically ate from 3 p.m. to about 10 or 11 p.m. So I did about 17 hour fast and a seven hour eating window. <clears throat> now what the benefit I saw was mental focus. I was re during the, that, that fasting period, I was so productive, right? That's basically the only benefit I see in it. You know, the mental focus, I was so focused and so productive, you have to try it to believe it, right? Plus, people say you're going to be very hungry on this diet. When you don't eat for 16 hours, you're probably going to be hungry, right? At the beginning stages of fasting, yeah, you're going to be a little hungry. But if you stick with it, you're not hungry. You're even less hungry than on a traditional diet. Now that's a really great benefit, I noticed. When I was fasting, I, I once fasted for 20 hours. And I wasn't even hungry. I wasn't even hungry after my eating window started after 20 hours. That's... You know, that's awesome too. If you're chasing fat loss, right? Now, on the other hand, if you want to build muscle, I don't recommend fasting. Now you see a lot of guys, a lot of bodybuilders, you know, a lot of fitness guys, they do fasting and bodybuilding together. I don't recommend it because it's, it's hard as it is to eat a lot of calories to build muscle. And it's hard as it is to build muscle so why make it even tougher on yourself plus you know the body builds the most muscle when you have a constant flow of protein in your body right so when you're consuming protein on a regular basis throughout the day because you're always in a anabolic state but when you're fasting, you're not eating for long periods of time. You know, you're not in an anabolic state. So basically, it's not optimal for when you want to build muscle mass. So I recommend when you're cutting down, yeah, by all means use intermittent fasting, right? But when you build muscle, if you want to build muscle in the most optimal way and the fastest way, don't do fasting. I'm not saying you can't build, you can definitely build muscle. You can definitely get huge on fasting if you do it correctly. But it's gonna take a little longer. It's gonna be a lot faster with without the fasting, with constant food throughout the day. But the benefit is, you know, you're gonna gain muscle faster, but you're gonna be, you're gonna gain a little more fat if you're eating throughout the day because of your insulin, right? Your insulin makes you anabolic, 
and when you're insulins throughout the roof through the roof you know throughout the day that's gonna also result in some a little more fat gain than usual because of the hormone profile now if you do if you do fasting muscle building is going to be a lot slower but you're gonna you know be leaner you're gonna gain less fat overall so at the end of your bulk maybe you're not gonna be as huge but you're gonna be a lot leaner so now again it depends on what are your preferences do you want to be huge and don't care about getting a little bit gaining a little bit of fat then by all means you know bulk eat whenever you know be in a surplus but if you want to be lean you know you want slow, very slow gains and you care about being lean all year right even though I don't recommend that because being lean all year is it's not that sustainable but guys this is this is just advice you know you have to try it for yourself and see so intermittent fasting is very beneficial health wise fat loss wise but you gotta you gotta test it out just like every new technique every new diet you gotta test it out start fasting you know start with a small fasting window and you can increase it by time test it out for a few months right I recommend and try it for at least four or five months minimum to see if it's gonna work for you because you know I can say what works and what doesn't work what I personally believe right but the fact is that everybody is different every one has a different body type everyone's body reacts differently to certain stimuluses to certain types of food to certain diets certain calorie intakes macro ratios and so on so the best way to figure out what works for you personally is to test it out and see Thanks for watching guys, I hope this video helped you out, don't forget to like, comment, definitely subscribe for more daily fitness content, because that's why I created this channel guys, to help you guys out, now I want to help people achieve their fitness goals, so subscribe, peace out.